It's not too often that you see something that is so breathtaking that it almost defies belief. And as one of America's most popular national parks, Yosemite has a way of defying belief over and over and over again. Whether it's the towering granite cliffs of Yosemite Valley, the 2400 plus foot waterfalls, or the ancient giant sequoias, this park has a way of leaving you speechless. I'll be honest, Andrew and I just wanted to visit Yosemite because, I mean, who doesn't? Of course, there was no way we weren't going to be fishing while we were there. So, we decided to see how many creeks we could catch trout out of while we were visiting the park. With absolutely no knowledge of what type of trout would even be in the creeks and rivers of Yosemite, we were going in blind. But, it didn't take long to get on the board. Dang, dude. I can't tell. I know, I agree. I don't know what they are. I think I need to change flies, what I need to do. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Got him. I got a fish. What is it? You have a net? Yeah. Rainbow. Is it a rainbow? I wonder if the rainbows are native here or not. Yep, little wild rainbow. God, that's a pretty fish, though. Jeez. First Yosemite trout. There's one in that bigger than that, though. Good, buddy. I guess I'll try to catch one. Yeah, I guess try to go ahead. Good. Oh, that's a bigger one. Here's here. Another rainbow? Oh, they're pretty fish, though. I wonder if they're native here or not. I don't think they are. All right, guys. Oh, well. Creek number one is a success. And we're going to move on. And we're just going to hit a bunch of different little tributaries today. Or, I don't know if they're going to be tributaries. A bunch of different creeks, a bunch of different water. And just see what we catch in Yosemite. Should be fun. So they're in here. A little, I don't know if it's it kind of, it, like, it, 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 it didn't like dart up, it just kind of. Well, it's around. okay though, at least we know there's one in here, so we yeah. can be more careful. And that wasn't that big. Well, I don't Maybe expect them to be huge in here. I mean, it was darker, like it was a dark fish. Are you a brook trout? Got one, got one, got one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <clears throat> it's a brook trout, I think, isn't it? Brown trout? Brown trout. Huh. Another tributary. This one had a different species in it. Look how red those spots are in this one. Yeah. Oh. I mean, maybe I need a different dry fly. I don't know. Oh, dude, that's a good one.
Heck yeah, dude. In between creeks, we decided to check out the Mariposa Grove of giant sequoias because seeing one of these trees has been on our bucket list for as long as I can remember. And they didn't disappoint. These giant sequoias are incredible and something you have to see to truly understand how impressive they are. Each tree needs at least 500 gallons of water a day, can live well over 3,000 years, and their bark grows three feet thick just to protect them from forest fires. There's just nothing else quite like them. After we decided to stop staring at giant trees, we finally got back to fishing. <laughs> Woo. All right guys, so this was the third creek that we've caught fish out of so far in Yosemite. Uh, first one had rainbows, the last two have had browns. Here's my little brownie. I'll show him off for you guys real quick. Beautiful little fish, I'll let him go right here. We're gonna keep heading down the road and if we see another creek, we'll stop and fish it. Uh, and see how many we can catch fish out of. As we entered Yosemite Valley, I realized why so many people visited this national park. These granite cliffs are mind blowing and no picture or video will ever do it justice. From El Capitan to the Half Dome, it has to be one of the most impressive valleys on earth. It's hard to find the words to describe how small you feel as you're staring almost directly above you to see the tops of these towering cliffs. It's breathtakingly beautiful and something everyone should get to experience at least once in their lives. I guess what I'm doing right now, I'm basically just kind of looking for fish. Right now I don't really see anything. So... He spooked when that hit the water. No, he just spooked like somewhere in here. I can't see him though now. I didn't think he'd spook or, or if I, you know what I mean? Like I didn't think. There's one. Where? Running down the creek right now. I think I'm losing it rapidly. He's like right where it is. It's like, it's cast out. Cast out further in front of me? Like to your left a little. Oh wait, there's one right, right in the middle. It's look, it's coming towards you. It's coming towards it. Look no. uh, Oh, it's still, it's coming towards it. Towards him. Got, got him. Got him. No. How did he come off? I had that thing hooked so good too. Oh my God. Dang man. You're gonna catch a fish in Yosemite, Andrew? Yep, I've already caught in... Okay, I'm talking about in Yosemite Valley. Party. You gonna catch a fish in Yosemite Valley? Of course. I'm gonna catch one right here below the half dome. Oh, he's so close to me. The rod <laughs> got stuck in a tree. <laughs> half dome's right up here. We're gonna catch a 27 inch rainbow trout below half dome. Got it. 
What is it? No. <laughs> it's a rainbow trout. Yeah, it's dude. <laughs> we worked way too hard for that stupid little fish. No, no, no. It's gone. It's gone. It went through the net. <laughs> well, it was like three inches long. <laughs> Let's go. We caught a little rainbow trout. Finally. That was not worth the effort. <laughs> I am trying. There's just no way, man. Where is it, Andrew? Yep. Yes. Hit it in the head I with mine. I mean, that was the highest I've ever seen a trout jump for anything ever. Oops. Got him. I was actually recording for that. He's just here you go. Woo! Come here, buddy. Got him in there. He is a splasher. I mean, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> oh my, he's Thank still God going. Thank dude. That's all I'm going to say. He's still going. I mean, stop. I don't know what to do. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. So I think we caught trout in five different creeks here in Yosemite. Two of them had brown trout, and I think three of them had rainbow trout. Which it, rainbow's trout might be native here, I have no idea. I know the brown trout are invasive for sure. But it was fun uh, blue lining some of these creeks in Yosemite. One thing I would say is I wouldn't come here to fish because the fishing is not that great. I mean, it's cool, but it's not like we're not burning the world down, that's for sure. So if you're in Yosemite and you want to fish, by all means go for it. Uh, just don't expect too much. Uh, but I wouldn't go to Yosemite and then try to catch fish like I, as the goal. But it, except for in the main park, we did see one just giant trout just swim out and swim back. But good luck catching that guy. <laughs> yeah, we did see one gigantic trout that was just underneath like an insane root ball. So they, they do exist. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying that we couldn't catch them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us exploring Yosemite. Yosemite is incredible. If you've never been here, you should because some of the stuff I know I'll put it on video, but it's not going to do it justice. So come visit Yosemite. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. And just like that, our California trip was over. We managed to catch five different native species to California and visit one of America's most iconic national parks. This was one of the most difficult, but also most rewarding trips we've ever been on. We hiked over 100 miles in a week and got a taste of what the Sierras have to offer. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this series, and as always, thanks for watching.